Since these cob arrays of LEDs that operate directly at 12 volts seem to be quite popular, I thought it'd be worth getting one and uh, taking a closer look at it. And they, I got uh, two from... A, do, do I even have a printout of that listing? No, I don't have a printout of that listing. That doesn't really matter, but they're a very common thing. You'll find these if you look for 12-volt cob LED uh, strips on, on eBay. And initially I thought, well, there's a very good chance they're just running four LEDs in series to make up the 12 volts, because there's no active electronics. Uh, oh, hold on, let's... Uh, Let's fold these metal tabs, because this kind of rattles backwards and forwards in this metal housing. I think the housing is purely for decorative purposes. So let's fold up these tabs and pop this out. Yeah, there we go. It's an aluminium plate, with the, uh, it's the circuit board material with the aluminium core. And then it's got this little dam round the outside, and it looks like it's just been piped on. Uh, and then filled with this sort of silicon gel with the... Uh, phosphor loading in it. And if you look up closely at it, you can see pairs of pads and then next to each pair of pads is the LED mounted off the pads but with a little gold wire coming from each pad onto the LED. Initially I thought, you know, they probably uh, just have them in little clumps of four LEDs in the vicinity of each other, but when I powered this one up, uh, and I'll show you this, that's it running at very low current and as you can see a quarter of it is out completely. And there's also a very odd, this LED here is a very turquoise colour, this one LED up here. And as I veer the voltage up and down, you see another row goes out, and the fourth section here doesn't actually start conducting until the current is about 4 milliamps, and then it starts. So one of these LEDs, these are obviously like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is obviously just 15 LEDs in parallel, and they've basically got four parallel strips like that, which are then all connected in series. And this is a rogue LED in here that's just, you know, dragging the uh, passing current without lighting. It's basically dragging all the others down. But as I turn the voltage up, um, to 12 volts, it gets pretty bright. Um, let's see, I'm just nudging, they're dead on 12 volts, and it's drawing 340 milliamps. So that's about, that's about four watts. That's pretty, pretty high output. And as such, you know, you, the printed circuit board, the aluminum plate is starting to get quite warm. And if you consider though, that this is, um, designed for cars and the running voltage of a car is going to be closer to something like 14 volts say 15 volts let's run it up to 14 they'll tell you what the current is so just approaching 14 volts it's almost an amp and i'm going to turn that back down because that's 14 watts at that so uh, to be honest i wouldn't really run these at anything above 12 volts dead on the button, you know, a 12 volt regulated supply and just use them as a decorative light, particularly given that they come with these foam pads to mount them. And that's basically a thermal insulator. That's not going to couple the heat away from this, not help much with the fact it's even got these little uh, tabs here that are also going to act as space. So I wonder, I wonder how long these last when they're actually put in a car. I mean, it's a nice enough idea, but it is just keeping things super, it's keeping things absolutely minimalist. It really, uh, is very, very voltage dependent, and uh, on a car, it could end up, you know, pushing these really excessively hard, uh, just because they're relying purely on the forward voltage the LED, which has a very slight variation uh, uh, to create a massive change in, in the current through them. So, um, they're interesting, I suppose they've got their applications, but um, as I say, I wouldn't feel comfortable running these uh, on an unregulated 12 volt supply. I think a regulated 12 volt supply running them at the effectively the four watts would be kind of acceptable, particularly if you actually stuck these plates onto um, something that was going to take the heat away. But um, certainly as soon as it got up to 14 volts there, and that was me being conservative, uh, it was up to an amp and that's just excessive. You know, that is far too much power to dissipate from these strips. But, um, there's still an interesting idea, um, I guess, really. It's just uh, keeping things as simple as possible without any electronic driver. But, um, yeah, interesting.